Let's talk about Liverpool's goalkeeper then. He has a little bit of a hiccup first half when he should head yeah. it out and, <laughs> and gets, you know, he, as he's running back towards his own goal, he breathes a bit of a sigh of relief when the shot goes wide. But other than that, actually, he was named Liverpool's man of the match on, on the, you know, with the fans vote to Keith Keller as the man of the match. And yeah, he was fantastic. He, he, he was he, class. In, especially at the end when Liverpool, you know, they hadn't put the game away, Leipzig are desperate to pushing on. He makes some, you know, the one on one with his feet, the big save after deflection. Yeah. He, he was excellent again, Keller was, and he stepped he up to the class. plate when we needed him. When you've got the best keeper in the world and you're not even noticing the difference, that's how class Kelleher is. And I felt bad for him afterwards because they were asking Slot in the interview, you know, what's it like having a number two keeper like this? What's it like having a backup keeper like this? And I was like, he's too good to be a backup. He's far too good to be waiting for Allison to be injured throughout that team. And in that match yesterday, he was so good. The deflected shot in particular really impressed me. He's so quick to get down. And that one with the header from Canate, I think if that was Allison, he's got that more sort of imperious figure about him. Maybe he just slammed straight into the ball. There's one against Bournemouth he did a few years ago where he just jumps and takes a player out. I think if that's him, he does it. Callagher maybe just got a bit, a bit nervous, didn't know what to do. But his shot stopping, his decision making of where to go, he's... One of the best keepers, I'd argue, in the league. He's far too good to be a backup keeper. And that game yesterday was a real proof of that, going to a Bundesliga team away from home in the Champions League. And you have an arguably man of the match performance. So he was he, the thing that gets you all the time, John. And again, it's, it's we're not like saying in New Year or Keller. He just looks so chill. I've always I've always associated backup goalkeepers and reserve goalkeepers. They always look a bit skittish. Every one of them because they don't use they're not used to playing. And all of a sudden, oh, she isn't playing. Yeah. Or the opposite. They get a bit too like they think they they, they think they're amazing and 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 they're, sh- they're trying to show off how good they are. Um, I was sitting with Quinn yesterday and he was like, "If you put a heart rate monitor on that guy, I bet his heart rate is just absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. Like he's, I mean, he's the, so calm." Given the the misjudgment on the header, which nearly cost us a goal, you would have thought there would have been some jitteriness in him after that, but none at all. You wouldn't have noticed anything had happened. He's just so calm and collected all the time. His positional sense is phenomenal as well. I mean, that shot the guy had early on with his left foot, mm. right in the corner, and there's Keller. It just makes it look so simple. <laughs> you know, goes straight to him. Well, I was going to say that the the, the, the the couple of long range efforts and what was interesting, John Stickman too. He keeps all of them. Like they're not parried out. The, no. the, the, he, he's, he's He's like, yes, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Even the one, again, they score, don't they, when it's, when it's tipped back across and the guy is offside. Even that's a good save. Like, he's done really well to get to. I think he made six saves in total, Yeah, uh, which which again shows that Liverpool were... A couple of them were absolutely amazing saves and uh, the rest of them are just good saves, yeah. I was going to say... No, I mean, he, he's, we're really lucky to have a, a goalkeeper of that quality. You know, first of all, Nottingham Forest, shame on you. Seven million pounds plus Matt Turner. <laughs> That's just diabolical. Imagine Matt Turner playing that yesterday. Oh, I mean, oh my God. I, 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 yeah, just got, couldn't even begin to imagine. <laughs> That's like offering someone 20 quid for their brand new Mercedes S class or something like that. That was insulting. Well, I, just, I, I just have visions of Adrian, you know, and mm-hmm. I think to myself, you know, that's the kind of level you sometimes get from a backup keeper, yeah. and we're, we're way, way, way above that. With all due respect to like you know, Adrian won trophy, or, you know, Brad Jones did well in an FA Cup semi final, but they weren't great. Like, you know, you, you were almost playing around them. You, I worried about them, and, and yeah. I've, I say this every time we talk about Keller. I never worry when I hear that he's in the side. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. He's actually played the the big thing for him. I think compared to most backup keepers, is he's actually played a lot of games. I think most backup keepers they can go a season or two without getting a match. He's actually played like fifty plus games now or something. So he is experienced and two cup finals. Well, and that's that's the the well, I say the problem with Allison, who's, who's obviously you know arguably the best goalie in the world. He's injured a lot these days. You know, yeah. you do really need someone of that quality behind him. I know we're speaking about this game and. It's the final word so I'm a review on Leipzig Lewis but I've got to, I've got to say this like Mamadashvili must be fucking brilliant yeah. and he better not be brilliant because yeah. if, they're, if they're bringing him in to get rid of this because yeah. Keevan Keller I'd be shocked if he's here next year now yeah, I think he, he's either he's either. I, I don't think he's going to be the backup to either Mamadashvili or Alisson I just don't see it happening he must be the business or Liverpool must think he's the business because Keller's fantastic he, he's more than good enough to be Liverpool's number one in the future he's probably not going to get that chance now so yeah someone somewhere this lad better be Fucking brilliant. Yeah. I've said I've said so many times he could go to easily eighty percent, eighty five percent of Premier League teams and he'd be an absolute starter. He's far too good to be a club's backup keeper. And that's not me saying, oh, he should leave. I'd in an ideal world, I'd keep him and he'd be happy to be in that position and then maybe wait till Alison leaves. But the odds of him going this summer, I'd argue maybe even in January he might try and push it. I don't know. But he's made his intentions clear that he wants to go somewhere and play more football. If Mamadashvili 
is the you know the obvious replacement as the number two pushing for number one he's got big boots to fill and the fact that you've got your backup keeper who set expectations for another backup keeper shows just how good he is as a backup keeper yeah. so. i mean the thing about the new guy is looking at it if he's the backup to allison then he's, sure. he's going to play 15 games a season minimum mm -hmm. and if he's not up to it if he's too young and he's too inexperienced yeah. then that's going to give us problems so as as steve said he's going to have to be brilliant from yeah. the way go that was keller's 51st game for the pool you can probably count on the on one hand the number of bad ones he's had like and yes they was one of his best jobs. but they're increasing every season and which suggests that allison is getting injured more and more well, i think i think i think this summer I think they're both going to go. I think Allison's going to go, and I think Keller's yeah. going to go, and I think mm -hmm. Mamadou really. I think he's coming to play. I think he's been signed to play. That's why they put him on loan for a year, and he's going to come and play. And they're going to either you know Yaros or someone else at the backup. I think they're both going to happen. It would be my guess because I don't think Lip, I don't think Liverpool are paying thirty million pounds for a backup goalie. God, I, just I just don't think they're going to do it. Um, and I understand it with Allison. That I, I go back to it. it He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do something because we're all used now, Lewis, to our goalkeepers. Whoever's in goal being excellent. Yeah. And Keller yesterday, like I say, was rightly named by Liverpool fans. I agree. I know you forgive give Costas man of the match. I think. I think Keller by far was the man of the match. Mm, yeah. I mean, I, I personally, my man of the match was Canate, but that's yeah. up in the air. I think yeah. that's you that know, says a lot about this, about the way we play because I'd have given it to Van Dijk. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Every, it, you know. it, it, we just didn't have anyone who really stood out. You know, yeah. above clearly above everyone else. You know, but that's, it's a good game if you're arguing over who the man of the match is. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, every, there was. I wouldn't go that far. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think, think you defended well, or you might, you might, your goalies had a few saves to make. You, you never want your goalie being your best player, yeah. but sometimes, sometimes you have to be. And yeah, Keevan Keller was magnificent once again, and yeah, I, I thought he was fantastic. 